Hey y'all, this is Derek from the Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. To see more videos like what you're about to see, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, help support this independent podcast. Well, guys, we've got a list assembled here of top five guys that we've changed our minds on this offseason from when we did some of the team breakdowns, from when we did that. So we're going to go ahead and rock and roll into this one. I'm going to actually start off with Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore was a guy I was out on when we were covering the Browns. We were doing the team breakdowns on and as we've started going through camp and we've started seeing some of these things you know, come through, he is a guy that, that has gone from my do not draft list into a guy that I'm, I'm actively seeking out there in kind of that 10th round. Reports on camp looking really good on him. He seems to have developed some chemistry with Deshaun Watson. Seems to be like he can be that downfield threat. Seems to be that uh, you know, we should see this guy uh, actually outperform ADP is – so definitely a guy that has moved up my rankings there. For me, a guy who's been crawling up my draft boards has been James Cook. Uh, looking at it and, and kind of thinking how this was in the breakout for the Bills and, and even how last season ended, I, I was not very high on James Cook. I thought uh, a lot of folks around me were uh, overindulging, if you will. Um, but I, I've come to change my mind. So between the Naeem Hines injury, uh, the fact that, Everybody is just pumping this kid up in in the Buffalo camp uh, is a good thing. Uh, they're talking three down back. I don't know if it quite gets there, but I understand uh, I understand the lure of it, right? Um, I think he's going to be heavily involved in the passing game. Uh, the more I see of him, the closer we get to the regular season, the more I do like James Cook. And that is moving up my draft board quite a bit uh, is Deuce Vaughn. And really it's – because I saw some of, you know, that preseason game with the Cowboys where he was he was effective. Uh, he looked like he knew what he looked like he belonged despite his small stature. Uh, he looked like he belonged out there uh, on the on the field. And uh, and a few practice highlights have also kind of gotten me a little energized about Deuce Vaughn. Uh, and secondly, you know, I, I because I'm seeing this like. I, now I'm questioning myself how much of this how much of this Dallas Cowboys backfield is Tony Pollard's right like how, how much could Deuce Vaughn do enough to supplant some of the work that Tony Pollard was expected to get um I think I think there's a real possibility if he continues on this trajectory from what I'm seeing out of camp and from what I'm seeing you know on the field um Deuce Vaughn's a guy that that I I am starting to look at very very hard there's a there's a guy that has was on a you know kind of my do not draft list when we covered the eagles and we were talking about this one not that long ago uh kenneth gainwell is a guy that has screamed up the uh the boards for me from a guy that you know i was out on and wasn't looking to draft really thought that this was going to be a rashad penny one two type of punch uh you know insert deandre swift for the uh, pass catching work Kenneth Gainwell, there all the reports coming out of Philly look incredibly good on, on Kenneth Gainwell, the way their depth chart has been reported, the way that they're uh, doing that. Like he could get in here and see a lot of one, two down type of work on this one. Um, so great late round steal and a, a great late round dart throw. If you get a guy that uh, you know, you're taking in the 14th round that can sneak up into RB three territory. So touched on four guys, right? They're climbing up our draft boards. Um, but here's one that's falling down mine. Um, Jonathan Taylor. The, the fact that he has a ankle injury, the fact that he's asked to be traded, the fact that him and Ursay got into a pretty heated debate, if you will, when they had their meeting and Ursay has kind of planted his flag into the ground and said, I'm you're not being traded. You're you're under contract. Missing as much camp as he has. Uh, the offensive line not being as good as it has been in Indianapolis. A rookie quarterback who is going to take some rushing work away from Jonathan Taylor. All these things have him falling down draft boards for me. 